Today is the opening ceremony for the International Conference on Overseas Chinese. This um, society has been in place for more than 24 years, but this is the first time that they have their annual conference in Canada. And we take advantage of the opening ceremony to have this media announcement announcing the first ever online database for artifacts for our regional museum. I have to emphasize that this is the first ever online database for all the Chinese Canadian artifacts in North America, not only in Canada. This project is a result of the apology that Pima Christie Clark delivered uh, on May 15 in 2014 as a result of the seven public consultations that I led throughout the province to get input from the uh, British Columbians, in particular the Chinese British Columbia, about the historical wrongs that the past BC provincial government did to the Chinese Canadian community. So arising from the seven public consultation, the Premier delivered a non-partisan apology and was supported by all the MLA in the legislature. And as a result of the apology, what we heard from the community is that we can't just have the apology, we need to raise awareness, we need to showcase the, to the British Columbian about not only the historical wrongs but the contribution of Chinese Canadian to the founding of British Columbia. Uh, UA, University of Victoria, is working with BC Museum Association and our Legacy in Asia Advisory Council to digitize the artifacts of 16 regional museums. Of course, the artifacts are concerned Chinese Canadian to put it on the database online. By providing resources uh, to the museums in many small towns, they were able to bring out and to digitize uh, materials related to those communities. Uh, and now we now have that, the stories associated with them uh, in the database that anybody can access. This is really historical. And today we also brought in some artifacts from Buckerville, a historic town, the Chinese historic town. Because of the over 6,000 pieces of artifacts that are online, more than half of them come from Buckerville, because Buckerville is a very important Chinese historic town. So I urge everyone to go online uh, tomorrow to UWIC's uh, library uh, website, and then you can see all the artifacts there.